Good morning, everybody. So last night, I finally got my first good night of sleep, and it didn't start off like that. Like, the first six hours, I still were, was up and down and up and down, and I remember I woke up at 2 and stayed up till 4 just messaging people because I couldn't go back to sleep. However, I had this very odd nightmare around 6 a.m. that had to do with me drooling all over the bed that Louise let me sleep in. But when I woke up in terror, I realized, oh my gosh, it's the best news ever. I've had a dream, which means I've reached REM. I've done it. Took a long time, but here I am. Uh, I'm currently on the porch of the place that I'm staying, covered in suntan lotion, because as you can see, I'm a bit burnt. I haven't worn suntan lotion this entire trip. Somehow I've survived with it only being this burnt. I'm okay with that. So I've now covered myself. We're about to get some breakfast, and then I have to do my introductory dive in the swimming pool. Check out this view, though. I don't know what tree this is. It looks like a little baby palm tree. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Later, we're going in that. Well, that was amazing as the first time diving. That was just the introductory though. Now it's time to go back in and get a little bit deeper. So I know I look like an absolute hot mess right now, but that was amazing. It's definitely one of those things that's been on my bucket list to just scuba dive in general and to swim around amazing tropical fish, but to go 
around a sunken ship was was really really cool like to think that that used to be above sea and now it's like providing life for little fish it's really cool i saw sharks uh i saw little finding emos for the like clownfish they're funny uh man that definitely check out if you're in bali go to matahari tuamban it was literally a one-on-one -on -one experience the guy taught me i had no clue about anything diving but he taught me everything from you know cheeky nandos what do people normally do on holiday they actually relax so i just had a nice relaxing sit out here on my little porch for about two hours editing my new travel vlog and also i just got this delivered to me which is my certificate of participation for my introductory dive uh, for the two dives of today, which means that if I take this back to London, I can take a couple weekend courses and get certified. And being an open water diver, I mean, I can do this a lot more often than just two times. I'm excited! Hello, yes, I would like my fresh fish in Pepe style. <laughs> The package that I ordered from this place was two introductory dives, a place to stay, and I get a free massage and aromatherapy at the spa, so I'm going right on back there. Let's go. Also, even though I put on suntan lotion on my face, it looks like I definitely felt the sun. Sun kissed me today. Not good. It's not good. I really don't want to be burned by tomorrow. Well, now that I'm incredibly relaxed, I've had an amazing day. I definitely won't forget this one, but I've got to get some sleep because I have to wake up in the middle of the morning so that I can make sure that my new video goes up on my main channel. It's me and Dodie doing a fun British versus American style video. So if you want to see that, just check the link. That'll be in the description. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching my travel videos. I really do hope you like them. Please subscribe if you haven't yet because I've been doing them quite a lot and there's even more to come. Tomorrow, I'm going all the way to North Kuta and also hopefully Tana Lot, which is like a temple on the water. It's gonna be cool. So I will see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Well, I found where all the wild Pokemon are hiding. Literally what this is right here. But at long last, I've now made it to Kuta Beach or Legian Beach. 